Hello guys and welcome to TechWolf. In this video I'm going to explain you how to create a website and if you are absolutely new to web design, web development and you have never ever created any website then this video is for you as in this video I will explain you all components and all information what you need to create your first website and after this video you will be able to understand everything about how to create a website and about all parts which you need to create a website. So I will try to keep this very short to the point and in the simplest language possible for absolutely new people who are coming into the space and there are only three steps which you need to understand to create a website and these three steps are website hosting website domain name and website we will talk about all of these parts separately first thing whenever you are starting to build your first website or website in general guys you need to think about hosting and hosting is simply the place where all files all databases all all your images and all videos for example for your website will live in short website hosting is the place where your website will live so people are able to access it so second part is the domain name and this is the way how people will be able to access your website and the domain name is the address of your website on internet which is connected to your hosting whenever people are searching for your website they are able to access your website so there is the hosting which is the place where your website lives and the then there is a domain name which is the name for your website so they are able to access your website and now we will talk about what is website and what types of websites you can get and I will also show you how to set up your hosting in this video and I will also show you how to create your first website. But before we jump in into that, let's talk about types of websites. There are two main general types of websites. One type of website is coded from scratch. These are very expensive websites and these are built by developers or development companies where teams are working on developing websites or creating websites from scratch. And then there are CMS or content management systems. If you already have been doing some research about web development, you already have heard about one of the most popular content management system to build websites. This is WordPress. 40 or 50 percent of websites are built just by this CMS content management system. And content management system is pretty much already pre-built package, which is absolutely free, which you can download on your computer and by using which you can build your website or you can build websites for clients as there are now many web developers who are building these websites for clients and the main and the most powerful thing about content management systems is guys that they are providing you backend so pretty much to build websites you don't need any coding knowledge like for example if you would be building in wordpress because you can build everything by user interface however if you would be going with coded from scratch you would need to learn programming languages for example most popular programming languages currently are python or php because most of these websites which are built with cms systems they are built with php and there are multiple different cms systems like for example there is drupal there is joomla there is a wordpress like i mentioned and many others but the most popular one cms how you can start build your own websites and how websites are being built currently all around the world it is wordpress many government websites are built by using wordpress and even disney and many other celebrity websites are also built by using cms system wordpress if you would be coding website from scratch if or if you will need to code it from scratch this is only in those scenarios if you will want something very very custom or to build some new solution which can be integrated or sold and usually coded from scratch websites always are done by companies because firstly if you would be coding from scratch it would take you a lot of time where CMS system you can set up website pretty much in one day like I showed you in a couple of my other videos I will be creating more videos like that guys where you can create or set up websites pretty much in a day or in an hour even so as we will in this video we'll set up a website and i will show you all these three things step by step so let's stop rumbling and let's create a website and we will start from all these steps which we just went through so let's set up a hosting and i will be using hostgator hosting and i am based in ireland and i would also recommend you if you are interested to use hostgator hosting because this is the cheapest and fastest solution out there and i will explain you also first 
first what is hosting and what you need to know about hosting whenever you are hosting a website. Here if we go into HostGator, I will leave a link in first pinned comment that will be my referral link if you wish to get 70% off your hosting. Here if we hover hosting, go with web hosting and never ever go with WordPress hosting with these companies because it is easy to set up a hosting and I will also show you this in manual way how you can set up your WordPress website easily and how you can create in this video your first website. Let's click into the web hosting. So as you can see these prices, these prices are shown for months, but you will need to pay for a year. If you will be paying for months, your hosting will be much, much more expensive. So 2.75, for example, for the cheapest plan, you will need to multiply by 12. I wouldn't recommend you to go with hatching plan, but I would recommend you to go with baby plan. You can host 20 websites on one plan. You have 20 gigabyte SSD storage. And this is one thing which you should know about hosting. Whenever you are hosting your website, you should be looking for SSD storage. This means that files in memory are stored on solid state hard drive. This means that websites you will be building, they will be running and executing much, much faster. So whenever you are getting a hosting, always look for SSD storage because this is very, very important for performance of your website. Unmetered bandwidth. This is also a feature which you should be looking whenever you are getting a hosting provider. Email included. This is almost in all hosting providers that you can create an email address with your domain name. For example, info at your domain name dot com. So people can contact you with your kind of branding or company email address. And free domain first year in this price. Whenever you are getting this hosting for a year, you will be also getting a free domain name. So you don't will not need to purchase it separately. Free SSL. All websites currently need to be secured and data has to be encrypted and all websites have to have this SSL certificate. This also is what you should be looking at and this is also free with this plan. WordPress pre-installed. Like I mentioned guys, if you are getting web hostings and WordPress are in pre-installed in all of them, never go with these WordPress hosting plans. Web hosting gives you more options, more accessibility to your cPanel and all different other features which you can use because some web hostings which are just for WordPress, they will not give you access to cPanel where you will be able to access your WordPress files. And then look always for Cloudflare CDN and CDN pretty much means that servers of that hosting they have servers all around the world this means that your website will be accessible at the same speed all around the world and if you click here on buy now first you will need to find the domain name as you can see free one year domain registration and for domain there are different endings .net, .com, .site, .org, .online and many others which you can choose from the most popular obviously is .com but in some cases you might not get the .com name which you are looking for because that could be already busy facebook.com and if I would search for this domain you will see that this domain is not available as you see unavailable but it gives you all other different options which you could choose for example facebook.site is available currently it costs 0.99 and then there is facebook.store and many others as you can see there guys but you come up with some domain name let's say facebooksite.com as you can see this domain is available then you scroll down and all you need to do is fill out all these details about your hosting choose hosting plan like I mentioned there is this baby plan which is the best one then the cheapest one is hatching plan we will go with baby plan and then create your hostgator account here you are adding your email password and adding all other details about you then you enter your billing info your first name last name company if you have or if you don't have companies and your phone number and here will you will see some options like add additional options but I would recommend you to not use any of these extra options which they are offering. Site Lock Essential, secure your website with Site Lock Essential. You don't need this as well. Just uncheck it guys and then you check out and you will create your domain and you will receive email and you will be able to access your account. So once you will create your account, go back to HostGator and here hover over sign in and click on portal and you will be able to log in into your account. And once you are logged in here in the right top corner, you will see your icon, click on home. 
and you will be redirected to your web hosting's home. As you can see, I have three websites here. I will be setting up website here on this third website. You probably will have one icon like this, and I will be setting up website here on other CMS, which I just created for the purposes of this tutorial to demonstrate you how you can set up a WordPress website manually. We will be doing it manually so you understand the file system and where all files of your website go. As to my opinion, this is very crucial to understand for absolutely new developers so you at least first time get to know where your files live how you can set up the website manually and you know what is database and where you can manage your databases so let's create our first website here on the left hand side make sure that you are in hosting you will have only one domain name which you have bought with your hosting so first thing scroll a little bit down and here you will see quick links and click into C panel here you will see the very first First field which is files and here is file manager just click into file manager and this will open a file manager and always whenever you are hosting a website your main website files are located in public underscore HTML folder as you can see here in the left hand side just click in there in my case you see that there are already WordPress files you should be working in this public underscore HTML folder so I will be working in second.bever.ie folder this is what you will see when you will go into public underscore .html. currently I have there one file I will delete it because that file shouldn't be there I created just for purposes of demonstration but in general you will see empty folder here and what you need to do now to create a WordPress website you have to open in Google browser and search for wordpress.org and in wordpress.org you can get full CMS system here in the right top corner you will see get WordPress just click on that button and here here you can download the latest version of WordPress as you see download WordPress 6.5 once you click it your download will start as you can see it is now downloading this into my computer into downloads directory and while it is downloading let's go back to cPanel and here we scroll down until we see databases now we will also need to set up a database and to set up a database here you will see this MySQL databases just click in there and there we will create a new database. I will create a database and I will call this database test. You can call this database as you want. Your database name will be this, this first part, underscore, and whatever you will enter. Let's create database. And now let's go back. And now this database is created. Now scroll down and now we will need to add MySQL user. This will be user for your database. And remember all these things which you are creating. And your username will be also this prefix which is here underscore with test user or whatever name you will be adding there. And create a password for this user. And here also password for the user and create user here you click go back and now we will need to add this user to database and this is at the very last tab and we created this username which is this like I said at the very start this prefix underscore and test user yours this very first prefix will be different than mine guys because it is different for each hosting then underscore I have test user this is user which I just created and here is second tab which is database also with prefix and I need to select my test database which I just created and then click on add and we will need to give privileges for this user to use all options of this database so here at the very top you will see all privileges just check mark this and it will check all privileges and then click on make changes and once this is done and this is saved click here at the bottom go back and now we have created the database and we have created the user now let's go back to file manager which we opened earlier on and here let's click on upload and let's upload that file which we downloaded from wordpress.org here we click on select file and here is this wordpress which we just downloaded and we'll click open and once this is downloaded here at the very bottom click on go back and you will see this folder here just click on this folder right click on this folder and click here on extract here you will see where you are extracting this is the path where you are extracting this folder and here click on extract files 
and close this. Select this zip file because we can delete it, right click and delete this folder because we will not need it and skip trash because we don't need to save it on our server. Let's click confirm. And now you need to understand that all your files have to be here in this public underscore HTML directory. Currently there is only folder of WordPress so we need to go into this double click on this WordPress folder and go in and from the very bottom click and highlight all these files just by dragging up and then right click and click on move. And here we need to del delete this last WordPress because we want to move it to second.bever.ie in your case that will be public underscore html and we click on move files and now if you will go to public html you will see all your files here in my case like i said this is second.bever.ie and these are files for your wordpress website but now we need to set up this wordpress website and to do this you need to go to your domain name whatever is your domain name if you go to your domain name in my external that is second.bever.ie in your scenario that will be your domain name and once your files will be installed you will see tab like this here you just select language and click continue here you see that you need to set up a database and this is telling that whether you have set up a database we just did we set up a database and username so we click on let's go and here what we are doing we are writing in database name as you remember in my scenario database was this prefix and text username was also this prefix underscore test user and here you enter the password you created for your database user here leave database host to local host and leave this prefix and click on submit and here you will see all right sparky you have made it through we have installed the database and connected our wordpress to database and here click on run the installation and here you can give any title to your website because you will be also able to change it later i will just give it test uh, title username whatever username you will want to log in to your website and here create some password make sure that you have a secure password i'm just creating this test website so this is only for the purpose of this tutorial that's why i'm using very simple one and here i'm if i'm using uh, weak password this will be confirm use of weak password so i'll confirm it and here click at the very bottom install wordpress so our username is test and our password was test123 and here we click on login and you will be redirected to this login field here you add your username and here you add your password and click on remember me and login and you are now logged in into your wordpress management system and if you would like to access your website then here in the right top corner hover over this test or click on that test there will be your username and you will be redirected to the website and you will be able to see how your website looks now for everyone else and this is your first website guys and if you want to go back to your dashboard you can click there and you can get back to the dashboard and you can manage your website so yes guys we have just created the new website by using wordpress and there are many youtube tutorials so as i'm creating many youtube tutorials how you can create a beautiful websites in wordpress but in general we just have created our first website hope that you found this video useful if you did leave a like share this video subscribe to the channel and see you in the next one